Marvel Legends, The Avengers, Beyond Earth's Mightiest, 60 Year Anniversary, Black Widow, let's get it. What is good, my peeps? How you feel out there? It's your knucker, big rocker, back at you again with another action figure review. What we got going on is number two in Beyond Earth's Mightiest, 60 years of Earth's Mightiest. We're talking about the Avengers, specifically Natasha Romanoff, a.k.a. the Black Widow. You see what we got going on on the uh, front there? We've got a 3D sketch, a digital render of Black Widow. And there is some nice artwork in the background. You see the logo down below, Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest. That's the new, that's the new celebration, the new campaign we'll be going through. There are several figures and two packs that will be coming out over the next few weeks, several weeks. And um, yeah, there have been some that have been out already. I don't have them, but they've been out already. Hawkeye's been out. Uh, we just got through reviewing Iron Man, the uh, Model 1, and um, there's going to be several others. Uh, the Hulk and Bruce Banner has been out, and um, I'm anxiously awaiting when it's my turn to, uh, to receive that. Anyhow, let's talk about what we have in front of us, and that is Natasha herself, the Black Widow. So turning the box to the side there, you see we've got some more artwork of the Black Widow looking real nice flipping it to the other side there's a 3D sketch of the figure we've got that logo at the top and on the rear we have another digital sketch very nice of the Black Widow posed and uh, to our right we have a uh, a sketch of all of the accessories and I do mean all is this is this a, a Marvel Legends figure with all those accessories? I, somebody pinch me. I must be dreaming. Anyhow, you see what we got there, and we will check those out uh, momentarily. This is almost like it's a, a deluxe figure. And uh, apropos, because it came in at a deluxe cost, cost about $27.99. This is a Target exclusive. By the way, if you didn't know, now you know. Here we have Natasha in all her glory, giving you a 360 degree visual of the character. And it is the Black Widow, so you know that the vast majority of her will be molded in black. And uh, there you have it. She is molded in black with the exception, of course, the uh, head and her exposed neck and uh, chest area that's uh, flesh colored. And uh, she's got a floating belt there that's molded in that... Uh, that gold we all know so well, is, um, and also her uh, Widow's Bite gauntlets are the same. And uh, we've seen those gauntlets before for the Widow, and uh, similar gauntlets, probably a little bit wider for Ben Riley Spider-Man. But uh, they look similar. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, how it goes down. Let's uh, We're going to take an individual look at her accessories because she does come with plenty like I said this is like a deluxe treatment here we'll kick off with her wrist gauntlets for her widow's bite these are as you can see um, she's firing the uh, widow's bite from these and the uh, the actual blast effects are molded in uh, a red fluorescent plastic that was the before shot here's the after got the uh, Widow's Bite gauntlets and whiffs, whiffs, excuse me, of smoke emanating from them. And of course, they are molded in a uh, transparent plastic, fluorescent, of course. Black Widow comes with two hand weapons. Here's one molded in a uh, blue-gray plastic. And here's the other identical weapon, only this has a suppressor, a silencer on it. Natasha comes with blast effects for her weapons, and it's not a very smart idea to have red translucent plastic up against the red background. So let me do this for you right there, so you can see what we got going on. 
and we have whiffs of smoke for those firearms as well and uh, the great thing is that uh, they're um, they're not identical so that's very good we get an extra set of fists as well as a pair of trigger hands Natasha comes with two additional head sculpts as well this really is a dream all of the accessories I've shown already and I still have head sculpts for a Marvel legend Wow anyhow you can look at it uh, very beautiful and uh, this one of course has long hair you saw out of packaging she's sporting a short hair look and uh, she's got that very stern uh, kind of angry look going on hair looks nice it's red of course there's no wash in it but uh, still looks nice uh, nevertheless and here's the second head sculpt also long hair but a different style for the hair and as far as the face it's got a more uh, 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 relaxed look when you uh, check it out also beautiful as well and since we rounded out the accessory segment looking at the head sculpts we may as well keep that going by peeping the uh, sculpt that uh, she came out of packaging with and uh, yeah like I said she's sporting the uh, short haircut and uh, the, the face is uh, once again just as lovely as uh, the other two portraits and uh, she's got that uh, little uh, the waft of hair flowing down over her right eye so uh, you know it's a little distracting but um, you can't beat them for the realism uh, got the nice ruby red lips going on there and uh, the hair is consistent and there's no wash in it but it is red and uh, looking at the rest of her you see it's just like I said just straight black with the exception of her zipper has got uh, silver paint on it so that's cool and including the clasp that you use to pull the zipper up and it goes uh, the silver goes all the way up on both sides up through her collar so pretty good uh, attention to detail for Hasbro uh, right there the rest is black you can see the uh, the belt there I've got it a little off center let me see if I get that straight there and I'm um, checking my belt to see uh, how good the uh, the paint is on there there have been some instances I've seen where the paint hasn't been um, it's been like chipped off on some people's figures but mine is uh, it's not the best I've got the full uh, Black Widow symbol on my belt but it is kind of sloppy because on as we're looking at it the the uh, the left side there's some paint that's uh you know it's not um there's some paint that got i guess you can call it like splashed over but um you have to really be checking for it and uh basically that's all you get it is the black widow so you can't sit there and uh knock hasbro for that she's a very basic design and uh, yeah, so that's how it goes down with Natasha. Taking a measurement of our Target exclusive Black Widow, Natasha's coming in at about six and a quarter inches tall. As far as articulation is concerned, uh, you will be happy to know if you didn't already, this is a, uh, for all intents and purposes, a super articulated female buck, first of its kind. So, uh, with the short hair, we'll see her head is on a uh, ball hinge. Um, she really isn't looking back, looking up that much at all because of the, the hair, even as short as it is. She can look down that far, though, so that's cool. You can do the 360 with the head, and you can get some pivot there. She's got uh, butterfly joints, so let's see how far back she can draw back. And that's pretty cool right there. That's pretty cool right there. Now, going forward, let's see what we can get going forward. You're not going to get her to hand clap, but she can get them in pretty close, closer than any other female buck. I'll tell you that for sure. She can get her arms in a teeth more, more than 90, so you see that. That's great. Of course, she could 360 it. She's got the bicep swivel, double-jointed pinless elbows Let's see if I get that other elbow to uh, turn in there there we go so you get some nice range with the elbows she's got swiveling wrists uh, horizontal hinge that's repeated 
on yep repeated on uh, the other side and uh, as far as those uh, trigger hands are concerned she does have the uh, she has for her right hand a uh, vertical hinge the left hand is uh, the same horizontal as far as her uh, diaphragm is concerned she can draw back at the top with a diaphragm uh, crunch she can go forward just a little bit like that she can move side to side and rotate left to right she does have an ab crunch too to uh, go in conjunction with her uh, diaphragm there so she can get that far forward she can get she can lean back like Fat Joe and uh, as far as her hips are concerned she can go out that far she can lift her legs very high which is apropos she is a ballerina after all and she can get it back a little bit like that she's got the thigh cut double jointed pinless knees so she can draw back that far toes she can point just like that once again she's a ballerina she better be able to get her toes like that and go up a nice fairway too very nice ankle pivot and of course holes peg holes at the bottom of her feet here we have our black widow next to the uh, last black widow I, I believe this was the last black widow that we received this being the legendary riders black widow who uh, came with the motorcycle it was a motorcycle and figure two pack from a few years ago about three years ago I think it was and uh, yeah as you could see um, our uh, our 60th anniversary Black Widow is a bit taller and of course you see the differences with the female buck there just look at the legs alone and of course we've got uh, double jointed pinless elbows versus the swivelers that the uh, Legendary Riders version has and if you want to uh, switch out you prefer having this Black Widow uh, instead of the version that came with the motorcycle. As you can see, she fits nicely on there. Though I have to tell you, if you want her to look uh, a little more natural with the head turning and everything like that, you're going to have to use the short haircut because uh, the other portraits with the long hair is no bueno in, tr in terms of uh, turning the head. So uh, keep that in mind. Here's Natasha with the only other figure from the 60th anniversary celebration that uh, I've uh, reviewed. We've got the Model 1 Iron Man. So closing this review out of the Hasbro Marvel Legends Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest, 60 years of Earth's Mightiest, anniversary black widow which i'm just going to consider deluxe figure because that's how it seems uh that it's a deluxe figure is a great welcome and anticipated addition to the uh, marvel legends lineup she's on a uh, for all intents and purposes a superposable female buck she's got the double jointed elbows the double jointed knees both pinless she's got butterfly joints she's got inverted ab crunch and the diaphragm to go with it three head sculpts six pair of hands she's got three sets i said six pair of hands three pair of hands excuse me um she's got three pair of uh of uh, widow's bite both uh in their uh, not engaged mode before and after they're blasting and then whiffs of smoke she's got uh, a pair of weapons as you can see here and they come with blast effects and whiffs of smoke all on their own this is what it means to be a Marvel Legends you know what I'm saying when we used to get uh, a fair amount of accessories never mind the boatload that we got this time this is definitely uh, definitely a, uh, a change of pace for the better the different options that were given because of those accessories uh, and the head sculpts for different expressions the sky's the limit and uh, you could I mean 
the, the way you could just obviously mix and match between the uh, the blasters, her uh, widow's bite, and the uh, the hand weapons, or even just go neutral and then with whatever head sculpt you want to use. Combined with the extra posability we get from this uh, new style buck for females. Yeah, I mean, what more can I say? Sky's the limit. I can only hope that... Uh, we see this uh, buck on uh, females in the future. Uh, not necessarily this buck, but you know what I'm saying. This style, they'll, they'll have to retool it because her costume it shows wrinkles and all that. So that's not going to be uh, the same for every female character they come out with. So until then, we're going to have to be satisfied with our girl Natasha right here giving us all of the articulation love that we could ever want. But the sooner Hasbro can get on it and give us more females on this, this style body, the better for all of us. And I'm sure Natasha here will agree with me that that's how it gets done.